Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, July 3rd, coming on with an update on extremely dangerous Hurricane Barrel. We can see the eye actually becoming a little better defined in satellite imagery just in the last hour or two, centered just south of the coast of Jamaica with the northern eye wall uh, on land over southern portions of the island. The center of Barrel right now is 65 miles west southwest of Kingston, so passing by to the south of Kingston a couple hours ago, but uh, multiple life-threatening hazards playing out across Jamaica now. The core winds of a Category 4 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of over 100 and, of 140 miles per hour are now on portions of Jamaica. Uh, in Kingston in the last hour, which is over here, uh, pretty far to the east now, we get 65 miles away from the center, had a wind gust of over 80 miles per hour just in the last hour. We're seeing some ham radio reports of damage, wind damage occurring, storm surge occurring uh, in this onshore flow here where we're seeing these southerly and southeasterly winds into the southern coast of Jamaica. We're expecting to see storm surge of six to nine feet above normal tide levels with dangerous breaking waves and damaging wave action on top of that. So very dangerous conditions ongoing now in Jamaica and they are going to continue for the next several hours. Everybody's going to want to stay sheltered in place through the rest of the day through tonight. Uh, and again, heavy rainfall playing out as well with the uh, potential for up to 12 inches of rainfall across uh, especially the mountainous areas of Jamaica. So we're going to have a lot of water problems from the storm surge and the rainfall flooding and again the core of a major hurricane impacting the island right now. So again, very dangerous conditions there. Uh, as you can also see, Barrel is centered about uh, 265 miles to the east southeast of Grand Cayman. So the Cayman Islands are sort of next in line for seeing significant impacts. And again, Barrel's moving west northwest pretty quickly at about 18 miles per hour. So if we look at the forecast, where is it headed next? Uh, Barrel is going to be moving west northwestward again across the Caribbean uh, with those hurricane and tropical storm force winds beginning to affect the Cayman Islands uh, later this afternoon and tonight where hurricane warnings are in effect for Little Cayman, Cayman Brac and Grand Cayman. Uh, and then thinking farther downstream, uh, Barrel is going to move towards the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico and then across into the Gulf of Mexico and potentially threaten northeastern Mexico and south Texas uh, by early next week. So let's take the hazards next in the Cayman Islands where again we are expecting those hurricane conditions overnight tonight. We are expecting storm surge of two to four feet above normal tide levels in the Cayman Islands and also expecting four to six inches of rainfall. So again, heavy rainfall flooding, major hurricane force winds. Uh, uh, Barrel is still expected to be a major hurricane when it passes near or just south of the Cayman Islands overnight tonight. We're expecting Barrel to be a hurricane when it makes landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula uh, early Friday morning or overnight Thursday night into Friday morning. We have a hurricane warning that's in effect from Puerto Costa Maya up to Cancun, a hurricane watch in effect uh, down to Chetamal and north to Cabo Catoche uh, with tropical storm warnings in effect for those areas under the hurricane watch as well. So hurricane conditions are expected somewhere in this area area uh, Thursday night into Friday morning. In terms of storm surge, we are expecting to see four to six feet of surge above ground level within somewhere within this hurricane warning near into the north of where the center of barrel makes landfall here in the Yucatan Peninsula. Heavy rainfall is also expected four to six inches, isolated amounts as high as eight inches in northern portions of Belize and in the Yucatan portion of Mexico. Beyond that, Barrel is expected to weaken as it moves over land to a tropical storm, but then expected to reintensify and be at or near hurricane strength as we go from Saturday into Sunday and Monday as it slows and begins to turn more northwestward, bringing the center of the system close to northeastern Mexico or deep south Texas uh, Sunday into Monday. So we could see very well see impacts there. If we were going to have the timing for those impacts, we would be looking at the most likely time of arrival of sustained tropical storm force winds uh, Sunday during the day sometime in that region. So we could be looking at watches being issued for portions of uh, northeastern Mexico or Texas uh, later tomorrow night or early on Friday. Uh, and again, here's just a, another graphical look at the rainfall, the heaviest rainfall potential in the short term, Jamaica, where we could see isolated amounts as high as 12 inches, as high as six inches, uh, four to six inches in the Cayman Islands, and as high as eight to potentially 10 inches in portions of the Yucatan Peninsula. So just to quickly recap, we're expecting or we are seeing those devastating hurricane force winds with the core of a major hurricane moving across Jamaica now. Life threatening storm surge, damaging waves of life threatening flash flooding are going to be ongoing in Jamaica for the next six to 12 hours as barrel passes by. Next in line are those uh, same hazards uh, are lined up now for the Cayman Islands. 
Then the Yucatan Peninsula, where we are expected to see Beryl make landfall as a hurricane, uh, and uh, beginning Thursday night and into early Friday, bringing those tropical storm and hurricane conditions, life-threatening storm surge, heavy rainfall, and again, some potential for impacts, wind, rain, storm surge in northeastern Mexico and south Texas as we get late into the weekend and early next week. So just before we wrap up, a reminder that we have multiple products that are automatically translated into Spanish. Here on the hurricanes.gov website, you can see our key messages here. You can also see the public advisory and the tropical cyclone discussion. So you can get all that information in Spanish uh, translated on hurricanes.gov. Uh, a reminder for folks along the U.S. Gulf Coast, especially South Texas, as we head into a holiday weekend with Independence Day tomorrow, please stay tuned for uh, and check back for updates on the forecast. Check hurricanes.gov at the Hurricane Center for more information on barrel. Find your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. Keep checking. We're updating the forecast every six hours. Information is going to change. We'll have updated information for you as you go through the holiday tomorrow and into the holiday weekend. But again, something you want to keep checking on as we go uh, through the weekend for more updates on barrel across from Jamaica all the way across the northwestern Caribbean into the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll be back with additional updates as we go through the rest of the week. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center.